representing the 31 to 53 foot class in the center console category. The Jupiter 43 SF has an overall length of 43 feet 1 inch, a beam of 12 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 1400. Designed with a heavy sport fishing influence, she has a draft of 27 inches, a dead rise of 24 degrees, a dry weight of 18,175 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 602 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Imagine a scenario here where a big luxury sport fishing boat meets a really sporty center console boat in the middle of the road. What do you come up with in that scenario? I think you come up with a Jupiter 43 SF. Yeah, exactly right. There's nothing middle of the road about this boat, but that is exactly what we're standing on. I think what happened is these guys with these big sport fish boats all of a sudden got so tired of watching these guys go by them at 60 miles an hour, just as comfortable as they were, with more fishability than they had. They said, wait a minute, you know what? That's not a bad idea. And they made the boat the perfect blend, like you said, of a sport fish versus a big center console. There's lots to look at. Why don't we start looking right here? Underneath the decks where we're standing right here, there's no limit for what you can put underneath it, okay? In the center hatch right here, we've got a sea keeper on this boat, which is a big boat feature. Gyro stabilizers, very common on big boats nowadays, becoming more common on center console boats. They take up a lot of room. This boat's got one and a diesel generator under the deck. You think that might eat up all the deck space? There's two 420 quart insulated fish boxes on either side of the cockpit here, along with a giant access point to the bilge right here in the center. You know, another thing that's a callback to a big sport fish boat, the mezzanine seating. It is very comfortable, you know, both trolling and underway when you're cruising along at cruising speed. Super comfortable, it's got just the right rate of recline to sit in, very nice. Additionally, you know, big boat features, how about a 90 gallon live well right here underneath this very comfortable seat. You've got two giant dive doors, not one, two, one on each side of the boat. I got mine over here, you've got yours over there, so you stay on your side. <laughs> you ready to move up and take a look at the sport fish size helm station? Let's go. Let's go. Cap, has anybody made you feel more like you were back on the fly bridge of an older traditional sport fish than Jupiter has? A new modern traditional big sport fish, absolutely. You know, this is a single level deck all the way around for that 360 walk around, but they've raised up this helm area. You can see so perfectly out of 180 degrees in front of you, it gets you out of the weather. This is the perfect design for a boat like this, I'm convinced. Take a look at this helm three 22-inch displays. I mean, that's big boat technology right there. This boat's got the Yamaha Helmmaster controls. It's also got a bow thruster. That's all right under here. You know, another thing, they fit everything away. It's all just clean, neat looking. I like it. Air-conditioned cabin, how about air-conditioned helm? Having that cold air blowing on you all day behind this glass. I'm actually cool. When I stepped out in the cockpit, I forgot it was summertime out here. Very nice. Now, before we leave here, this seating right here is special. Release Marine built this three across seat. It's one piece, this whole seat. It's beautiful varnished wood with the ladder back. Very comfortable for three. I feel like I'm on a 70 foot bridge boat right here. Rick, before we move up to the bow, let's go inside this cabin and cool off for just a minute some of that air conditioning. George, in a whole lifetime full of sport fishing, I've never gone down below and taken a nap while the lines were in the water. I might do it on this boat. It feels really good down here. Yeah, you could get used to this air conditioning for sure. You know, like I said, this isn't a cabin where you're going to have six people spending the weekend in the Bahamas on, but definitely nice to get out of the weather. I mean, on a hot summer day to get in this air, beautiful. And you know, there's some preacher comforts. I mean, you can flip this down and lay down here and take a nap. You've got an enclosed head there with a shower. There's a cedar lined closet right here and a microwave. Really classy. I mean, it's just a really nicely finished little place just to get out of the heat, get out of the rain, or send the kids down for a nap, whatever. Really, really cool. We had to come down here. As much as I'd love to stay here and chill with you for the rest of the day, we got a lot more boat to look at. Let's go back upstairs. George, come up here a minute and look back. You really get a grasp of the enormity of this boat. This is a big boat, buddy. Yeah, it's a long way back there, absolutely. I mean, look at the size of this bow. Yeah, you're not kidding. Look at the amount of fishing room and the advantage all this being open up here gives you. Yeah, not just room to fish. I mean, there's room to put people and room to put things too. You know, look at the size of that lounge right there. The seating also offers 192 quart insulated boxes on either side. How's that for it? If that's not enough, you've got some storage up here too, Rick. 680 quarts of dry storage in the middle of the deck. 
I mean, lots of real estate, big boat features because you've got big boat real estate. Let me tell you what that guy coming off that 90-foot luxury sport yacht won't do. He won't settle for less than the best of everything. You understand what I'm saying? He may bring the size down, but he wants the boat from bow to stern to be built a certain way that's just right. Let me tell you, I've been trying to think up a term that describes the Jupiter 43 SF to me the best. I think it would have to be no compromise. 